You have done uh, a number of shows which have been so interesting on the HCG diet. A lot of discussion about the HCG diet. Where are you now in terms of are you more convinced of the research? Are you more convinced it works? I'm becoming more supportive of the HCG diet. I've seen it both in friends, in colleagues, doctors who've been on it, uh, but I've also looked at some of the newer data that has been generated in part because we've challenged the community to generate this information for us. And let me just give you the background real quickly. When I first did the HCG diet uh, program, I fully intended to slam it. It was being given as droplets to a lot of folks. I was traveling the country and I'd been given this idea by many different individuals saying it had helped them lose weight. So I looked into it. I didn't see any potential way it could work. But then I learned that you could not only take HCG as a droplet, which can't possibly work, but it also could take it as an injection. And it was a very old idea, which had fallen out of favor, but because of newer ideas around how it could be used, it was now gaining credence. And here was the basic concept. When a woman gets pregnant, she immediately has this huge surge of human chorionic gonadotropin, that's HCG. Now you know why they use initials. Right, <laughs> exactly. So the HCG surges in her body and tends to allow her to use fat stores to nourish the baby. So even if she doesn't have a lot of food, again, think 5,000 years ago, mom gets pregnant, she has a little bit of fat stored up from last summer, but she doesn't have a lot of food right now. The baby's gonna starve, and the baby without enough sugar will almost immediately develop brain damage. So women really have to maintain adequate calorie loads in their body. HCG tends to allow them to do that. So researchers began thinking, well, if that's true for pregnant women, why can't that work for average people who wanna lose weight? Could we give them HCG, allow it to reduce their appetite, allow them to lose fat, but not muscle. And that's the big tip. This is a person who's losing weight with HCG. This is someone who's doing it without HCG. Now, Dr. Emma's preliminary, but these you know, sort of pilot findings show that women, when they lose weight with HCG, primarily lose the fat. They use the yellow. So you go to hell, help me there. They lose the yellow part. The muscle, the red, stays intact. So the fat disappears, the weight comes off, but you're not losing, importantly, too much of the red that's important for you to maintain because without that muscle, you'll yo-yo right back up again. So the first story show I did, I was sort of intrigued because I was surprised because unknown to me, there was a doctor in the audience who refers me cases. I'm a, I'm a heart surgeon. There's a cardiologist in the audience who stood up and said, I'm on the HCG diet. I've lost 50, 60 pounds. I was shocked. He told me about how he got the injections. The doctor who was helping him was on our set. I asked her some questions. I was intrigued. After the show, we were criticized for doing it because Folks said, yes, you, you, you appropriately said that the droplets don't work, the pills that people were mm -hmm. taking, they're fake. But you said that this injection could work and all, everyone in the medical community has pretty much disavowed this. So the next show I did, a year later, I brought on the head of the big medical society that represents all these diet doctors. And he was understandably harsh on the diet, but at the end we agreed that there hadn't been recent research on it. The last research was done a decade ago and things changed and we learned more. And now we can measure these levels of, of hormones in our body more effectively. So we gave them the challenge to go back together. This diet doctor using AC, HCG and the man who ran, you know, head of the biggest society, could we create some, some science here? Well, they have done that. And they found some interesting information, which we're talking about in the show, that gives me reason to believe this might be a solution for some folks. It's gotta be done carefully, has to be done with the doctors, reputable. Uh, we don't know enough to guarantee it's gonna be effective. It's still an experiment, but this is not some crazy, wacky idea. It deserves to be studied. And you're saying, with the supervision of a doctor, through injections, not through droplets, and not supplements online. There's, there's no free lunch here. You, you, it's gonna be an injection, it's gonna be a needle in your body, you'll give it to yourself, but a doctor needs to be supervising how you learn how to do this and, and how much you're gonna take it because these are powerful hormones. They affect testosterone levels in the body, they affect estrogen levels in the body, that might be how it works, by the way. Uh, but whatever that was happening, when you start to fool with your hormones, you need to have professionals who are really equipped in managing this to help you, but imagine, if you can go on a program for 60 days, get injections, lose 30 pounds, and then, now that you're 30 pounds later, sort of start again. It sort of reboots the system, and if you've learned how to eat smarter, maybe you won't gain it back so quickly. You obviously had people who had side effects on the most recent show I, I, I saw. I mean, and also there was some concern you even raised about, do we know if this in any way increases your risks of cancer? I mean, how do you kind of reconcile the side effects and even the cancer question? There are all kinds of concerns that I have about injecting any hormone into the body. And yet we know that 
for many conditions is quite effective. For men who have huge bellies and have no libido, we know that that big belly fat destroys the testosterone that are normally made in the testicles. So we give them testosterone. With testosterone, they get their libido back, they build muscle mass, they lose their belly fat. So when used correctly, these hormones do make sense, but you can't use them willy-nilly, and they have to be studied carefully. And too often what ends up happening is you have a little lead, a little idea that makes sense, because people crave it so much, you just give it to everybody. Instead, what I think we ought to do is take something like HCG, and get all the major groups working together to figure out if it works. If it doesn't work, get rid of it. Let's not fool ourselves. But if it works, imagine what that could do for the number one cause, preventable cause of morbidity and mortality in this country, which is obesity.